quoting Scarface would probably be way too easy at this point, wouldn't it? Nah, I don't care. Say hello to his little friend! Hey, what's up YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Power Core Combiner's Ice Pick with Chain Claw. So here we are, and there he is. This is the second figure of the second wave of Power Core Combiners, and we'll just get right down to it. Take a quick look at the packaging here. You got a nice picture. Back here you got more nice pictures. Here you got a bio. Go ahead and read it. Nope, oh, time's up. Now we'll get down to the toy. Now here is Ice Pick, who is a half track, or as I like to call him, Satan's Snowplow. Very cool, in my opinion. And here is Chain Claw in his vehicle weapon mode, which I think is the best vehicle weapon mode. I think so far. I think this just looks so right with this vehicle. It just looks so cool. And here, nice detail here on the treads. I wish they had painted these treads in, but eh, it's alright. Nice black Decepticon symbol. Little gold windshield. And of course, the glaring exposed blue power core connectors, but you know. What are you gonna do? He's got these two big rakes in the back here. And that's pretty much all there is to this mode. Of course, he rolls, as rolling things should. Size comparison, we'll bring in Huffa. There you go. It's a pretty, pretty standard size here. So, so that's basically it in this mode. I mean, not much to it. Now we'll take old chain claw off for now. We'll just put him to the side. And we'll get down to transforming this guy. So, first thing, you want to take this part right here, flip it up. You want to grab this section here and untab these which are kind of stiff on mine there we go. you want to bring these down bring this all the way up and this tab right here is going to tab in right up there it's going to take it and it's just going to lock into place right there you split the legs rotate them get your fingernail in there and bring the feet down like so. Take these little side skirts here. Just bring them down flush with his legs. Raise the camera. Then you want to split this top section here. Bring it down, revealing the head. And you just want to rotate them. And bring the arms down. Just fold down these little power cord connectors. And that's it. That is Ice Pick in robot mode. Very simple transformation. Power Core, for the most part, the transformation has been really simple. And I kind of like that. I'll get it close here on his head. Oop, too close. Too close. There you go. Nice little head sculpt. Looks like he's wearing a turtleneck, which I guess is kind of appropriate since his name is Ice Pick. So pretty cool. Of course, he's got the uh, the kind of long, gangly arms here with the the claw hands, but he is a fairly nice figure. I do like how the white contrasts with the uh, with the dark. I don't know if this is a dark green. I guess this is a dark green. I guess 
that's what it looks like. I'm a little colorblind. Sometimes I have a problem with my colors. So I think it's like a dark green. But yeah, nice figure. I mean, no kibble. Besides, you know, of course, the glaring blue power cord connectors sticking out. But I wish they had better ways to conceal these. Pretty much on every power cord combiner, the, these power cord connectors are just fully exposed. And it's just, yeah, it kind of bugged me. Because they had to paint them this bright blue, too, so it's not like they're subtle. But anywho, we'll get down to his little buddy here, Chain Claw. Now, this is his vehicle weapon mode, but it also serves as his robot weapon mode. And you just take him and plug him right here. A nice big shoulder. And he has a nice shoulder mounted missile rack. Which looks pretty cool. I like that. And of course he has the obligatory powered up armor mode. Which looks really, really just bad. And what you do, well we'll get him into robot mode first before I show that off. To get him into robot mode, you just want to untab these arms here. That'll free up his legs. And you just fold his legs down. Split the legs, and there you have them. There's Chain Claw. And he's actually really cool looking. I I like it. I mean, he doesn't have a face, but he actually looks really cool. I think so far this is my favorite Minicon. I think he just looks really good. I'm digging this guy. So and he's made of that nice clear translucent blue plastic with some silver paint apps I think that really really looks good so yeah to get him into the uh, powered up armor mode basically you just want to angle his arms back just kind of fold his legs up like this and there you have the armor mode and then you just flip down the little connector here and you just plug chain claw into his chest and there you have your armor mode which as usual looks really really stupid I, I really don't like this little armored chest mode whatever the hell it is I just none of them have pulled it off successfully in my opinion I think it just looks stupid and I understand they were just trying to kind of get an extra little bit of play value out of it, a little, you know, an extra little mode, but, yeah, I don't know, it just looks stupid. Let's get him back in shape here. So, there you go, little chain claw. So now, to get Ice Pick into his torso mode, and ready for combination, what you want to do is, you want to... Bring the power cord bit straight out. Bring the arms straight out. You want to take these side skirts here. You want to bring them all the way up. Then you want to rotate the legs 90 degrees. Flip, flip up the feet. Just bring the leg up. And then bend it at the knee. Like so. And then what you do with the hands here, you bring the hands down and rotate them 90 degrees, like that. And then you just take them and bring them into the chest. So it basically looks like he's just cupping his own boobs. Like that. And then you just bring, oh, you want to take this piece and bring it down. And then you want to bring down the chest piece. Flip up the combined mode head, close that back up, we're going to rotate the head, and there is Ice Pick in his torso mode. Now I actually do, uh, I do like this head sculpt here, the head sculpt is entirely made of that, that blue clear translucent plastic, so it looks really cool and it just looks like he has a, a, a mane of, of icicles, you know? I think that looks really cool. A mane of ice. 
That's hardcore. But yeah. So now we'll, oh, of course, the most important part, you want to flip down these connectors here. Because otherwise, how are you going to give them legs unless he has the connectors out, right? Right. So now, what else is there to do but take some Combaticons? Slam some Combaticons into them. Boom. And boom. The camera up. And boom. And this leg doesn't like to stay in. And boom. And there you have it. Wow, this leg really doesn't like to stay in. There we go. They got Ice Pick all decked out with some Combaticons on him. I want to say Chain Claw here and put him back in his uh, his weapon mode. Some extra armaments. Just plug him back up here on the shoulder. There you go. Stay! Stay! It's a little unstable. Sometimes these limbs just don't like to stay on. They just have a tendency to want to pop off on their own. That's another little gripe I have. But there he is. There's Chain Claw with some Combaticons all hooked up to him. And it looks pretty cool, you know. It, it, it pulls off the, uh, the torso mode pretty well. It definitely pulls off the vehicle mode well. The robot mode, the robot mode's good. It's solid. Um, it's all around a, um, a cool figure. And I would definitely recommend you pick him up. I think he's, he is one of the, uh, one of the um, better figures in the wave. Not the best figure in the wave, but definitely one of the better figures that we've gotten so far from Power Core. So, I would definitely say pick them up if you see them. And, um, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Power Core Combiners. Ice pick with Chain Claw, and this is MGO, rolling out.